S for Sonia, and today, T for Tony. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Our special guest today is Tyrone Tony Reed Jr. Mm -hmm. He had, he's an author. Mm -hmm. He's a podcast host. That's right. He's a radio personality. That's right. <laughs> you have lots of titles, Tyrone. A lot. A lot. <laughs> but today we're going to talk about Comic Con, mm -hmm. Haywood Comic Convention, to be specific. Yeah. Uh, which is March the 10th and the 11th. It's right around the corner, so <laughs> Right around the corner. So, Tony, you're an old hat at Comic-Cons. Oh, yeah. We're novices. Right. So, tell us a little bit about what happens at a Comic-Con. Comic -Con? Oh, my goodness. It's where everything that has something to do with pop culture is. Uh, whether you're like into video games, superhero, um, movies, TV shows. It's not just um, comic books. It's about science fiction and uh, just things that you love, music, video games, it's just a whole array of stuff and there's usually something for everybody. So if you're into fiction fiction books like Harry Potter or, or books like that, um, there's something for everybody to enjoy. So it's uh, all inclusive, all ages, all race. The first Comic-Con that we went to, of course, was Covington. That's right. And um, somebody said, uh, this is for geeks. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like that was the people that attend Comic Cons. It was like that that was this huge term of endearment that mm -hmm. they were calling geeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So does that kind of sum up? Well, I know because it kind of boxes people in um, there. Because you have geeks, you have blurts, which are black nerds who are into it. So there's yeah. there's a whole array of you know terms that people use. Um, Cosplayers, you know, people, all, everybody has a different term for why they do what they do and why they come to comic book, com, well, comic cons. Um, it used to be just about comic books, but now it's about everything. Will you kind of just share maybe the value of a comic con being in our area? You just oh, kind of yes, touched yeah. on it. Um, because there, there is something for everyone. Mm -hmm. I was growing up, you had certain heroes that have always been there. Um, they, but they didn't look like me. They didn't look like um, black kids. They didn't look like Muslim kids or Indians or Asian Americans. And now we have all these superheroes across Marvel and DC and independent comics that look like the people who are reading them. Yeah. And to have that in, have, to have that world there inspires so many people. And, uh, um, and it, it means so much to see yourself represented in that comic book form, that you can be a hero, that you can make a difference. Um, and that doesn't mean I don't have white superheroes that I don't like. I, love, I still love Superman, I still love Spider-Man, um, but it's great to see Frozone <laughs> and The Incredibles, you know, working with other people from other communities. So um, that's what having a comic book convention, uh, a comic con and pop culture cons um, means to everybody is that you get to come and you get to meet people who you didn't know were into those things. You get to form friendships and relationships and you have something to look forward to every year. Speaking of Sonia, I mean, we've got just a wonderful lineup. We do, we, um, and I should have brought a cheat sheet. We have uh, Santiago Cirillo. That's right, from The Walking Dead. From The Walking Dead, I believe he was Julio, yeah. is that correct? Yes, yes, yes. In The Walking Dead. Uh, we learned this morning we possibly are going to have a wrestler who's okay. going to be here that everyone okay. will recognize. That's right, a household name for those of us who okay. grew up in the mid south. Okay. Right, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, we have the seven three one Ghostbusters are coming. Yeah. Um, DL Memphis will be here. Mm -hmm. um, Hall of Heroes. Hall of Heroes That's from right. Oakland Ripley, <laughs> which is a gaming establishment yeah. over there yeah. uh there's just so many people the cosplayers you mentioned cosplayers right. andrea starnes yeah. is going to be uh, spearheading our cosplay contest mm -hmm. 
which is, you know, basically a costume contest. Pretty much. Uh, yeah. But the people are creating their own costumes, mm -hmm. and you're judged on your your craftsmanship yeah. and your creativity in creating those costumes. And that's for all ages, too. All ages. Yeah. Of course, the kids that's don't right. have to create their own. Right. They, they can come as their favorite superhero and still be a part of that fun. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know, cute. And so there are going to be authors and artists. Yeah. There are going to be artists from the Mid-South there. Uh -huh. You know, Tony. I did not, I've known you for several years. Mm -hmm. I did not know until we started working on this that you were also an author. Yes, yes. And you will be there with your book. Tell us a little bit about what your book is. Well, my book is called Solab, S-O-L-A-B, Soldiers of Light Against Darkness. And it's about two high school, two Memphis, two high school students from Memphis, Tennessee. They're African American and they're sent to another world that's overrun by demons. And they're told that they're the only two people who can save the world. So they get superpowers and they learn to fight together to try to save this world and get back home. Mm -hmm. But there are things in their way, demons, of course, learning how to be a superhero and the fact that they used to be a couple and now they're no longer together. Oh, so now they yeah. have to try to figure out how to work together again. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I created that because, again, when I was growing up, there weren't a lot of African-American superheroes. And I said, well, how, why can't I be a superhero? So these, they're loosely based off of me and my wife. It's been fun doing that. I, I've got two books, uh, the first and the second book, and I'm working on the third and fourth novel at the same time. And we've got live music. We have live music yeah. on Friday evening. The yeah. Murdering Crows yeah. are performing. Yeah. We may have a movie premiere. Okay. That's right. Yeah, That's right. that yeah. we can't we can't say anything about right now, mm -hmm. but y'all be sure and keep up with our Haywood Comic Con Facebook page That's and right. our website mm -hmm. because we will be listing it there when we know for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, Tony, you and Tadpole. Yeah, we're doing a live podcast. <laughs> uh, we're doing a, our podcast is called Tad and Tony's Overdue Movie Reviews, and we're doing 2008's Iron Man with Robert Downey Jr. So it'll be our first live podcast, which is so weird because we're only we'll be about 20 episodes in when we do that one. And we just started the podcast last year, and we said, wouldn't it be great if we did a live podcast at a Comic-Con? And Look here we that. are. Look here we are. That. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and you're also emceeing for the yes. two days yes. for mm -hmm. us. Yeah. There are panels. Yep, there are plenty of panels. Yeah, so there's, you know, it's not just coming, and we have all these vendors mm -hmm. who will have products, mm -hmm. games, toys, yeah. uh, a little bit of everything. That's it. That's that right. will be there, but it's also panels, mm -hmm. and there's, I guess that's an education component, an entertainment component right. yeah. of it. Um, that and you can have superheroes. Yeah. Uh -huh. have superheroes yeah. yeah. Food trucks. Food trucks. You know, uh, have a food court. That's right. We will have a food oh, court. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, just so much is going to be taking place at the College Hill Complex at 127 North Grand Avenue. Mm -hmm. Uh, throughout the entire weekend, starting that Friday at 3 p.m. That's right, 3 p.m. Uh, and then we'll end with that concert uh, at 7 o'clock mm -hmm. uh, with the Murdering Crows. Uh, and then we'll go on till Saturday and begin at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Till 6 p.m. with I and mean, it's jam packed it with activities. <laughs> it jam is. packed magic show, magic yeah, show. That's right. Magic Mr. Mr. Nick. Nick. That's it. Yeah. yeah. At noon on mm -hmm. Saturday, mm -hmm. we'll be here to entertain the kids. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you know, will be plenty of signage, so no one has to get lost when you come on the complex, the College Hill complex. We will have folk everywhere to direct people uh, in the right direction. You want to talk about admission, maybe? So there are, you can do admission two different ways. Mm -hmm. You can choose one day admission, which is $12. Mm -hmm. Or you can get a two-day pass, which is $18. Mm -hmm. That's right. And visit our community. Go and just kind of, what, what are the words we use? Jaunt. Uh, stroll, munch, munch. <laughs> <laughs> until then, yeah. Until March the 10th and the 11th. There you go. All right. College Hill Complex, 127 North Grand Avenue. We hope to see you, right? That's right. right. All right. Bye, y'all.